Okay, this is N2LEN with another uh, quick video clip. Uh, this particular video is uh, going to quickly uh, discuss the uh, NXDN reflectors. Uh, it is May 8th, uh, 2018. Current revision of Pi Star is the latest 3.4.13 dashboard. Um, couple of uh, interesting features that came out over the last two upgrades. Of course, there is the um, YSF to NXDN uh, added, the YSF to P25, along with the, which we already had, the YSF to DMR. Uh, so basically, uh, as long as you have a fusion radio, C4 FM radio, you could get on all the modes. Uh, also, uh, what was added was um, we had shifted over and added uh, moving from the single test NXDN reflector of 65,000 uh, we now have Jonathan added um, a bunch of NXDN reflectors basically following emulating the P25 uh, reflector list uh, and the best way to, if you have your radio already up and running on NXDN, all you really want to do is you want to come in and you want to add, uh, this is the um, uh, the Kenwood KPG-111D uh, CPS software, and you could see all the, uh, the new talk groups, which are basically, there are 15 of them that are currently in uh, Pi Star. Uh, the test radio that we're using is an NX um, uh, 800. I think this is the H20 uh, Kenwood uh, um, Next Edge uh, mobile radio. Uh, basically, uh, the way that you want to go ahead and uh, see the reflectors. Let me see if I can go ahead and uh, get my mouse going here. Uh, you want to go into the configuration, and then what you want to do is you want to uh, scroll down in the configuration. And if you could just bear with me, uh, scroll down to the NX uh, DN. Uh, here's the P25, and as you could see, uh, when we move the mouse over and you do the pull down, you could now see there are 15. Uh, NXDN reflectors that basically follow the P25 uh, reflectors. So if you come over to P25 and you pull them down, you could actually see that they're basically similar. Okay, so here is your list of the NXDN uh, reflectors that are now part of uh, Pi Star, uh, you could see that there is the um, uh, 10200, which usually I believe is North America. You have the first one, which is Parrot, uh, which is the Parrot reflector. Uh, you could scroll down and you could see uh, 10301, which is uh, Spanish, Espana. Uh, 10400 is Pacific, and you see there are a couple of others. Uh, 31010 uh, is Alabama Link. Uh, 31665 is uh, Alec Wasserman's. Uh, I believe it's a personal um, NXDN uh, reflector. And all, at, all the way at the bottom, you see 31672, which I believe is W1MSG Craig's reflector. Now, if you come over, you see this list. So basically, what I did was I just created, uh, moving from that one channel, channel one, which was originally 65,000, you just add a channel per talk group. And these are basically, in the Kenwood software, they're group IDs. Now, if you well, once you do the, uh, the pseudo Pi Star uh, update and then pseudo Pi Star upgrade, uh, one of the other things that Jonathan did add in is the uh, the voice announcement link to um, a voice ID that follows the D star voice ID? Like when you would connect to a, a D star reflector, for most of that, and most of you that you know that when you key up, 
and then you unkey, you'll hear a voice uh, playback that says link to REF030 Charlie. Uh, when we change the channels and we move to the different talk groups, okay, you could see them. Um, basically, what's going to happen is um, you're going to hear the link to command. So uh, I just had someone key up on DMR. We'll wait a couple of seconds. Hopefully we won't hear anything back, and we'll see if we can key up the um, the test repeater, which is an MTR2000. We'll key it up. Let's see if we hear anything coming back. Link 2650000. Okay, and now we are actually linked. If I key up again... You could see my ID, which is being sent across the network. Now, if you want to link over automatically, let's say if we want to go back to uh, um, 10 to, uh, 10 200, you basically just key up, unkey the mic. Link 210200. And that's basically how you actually, uh, I'll show you the actual uh, PyStar screen, what that looks like. Um, let me go back and uh, pull up the, uh, the dashboard so you could see that, what it looks like on the dashboard. There you go. And you look at right at the top. Now, the first... Um, entry on the very top, which is MMDVM, I believe that is actually the 9999 playback voice ID announcing the link. And then you could always, you could see where the second uh, entry is N2LEN uh, talk group uh, 10200. Let me go back to uh, 6500 and let's see how it responds. Here we go. I'm going to key up. Let's see what happens. Links 26500. Zero, zero, zero. So there you go. So that's basically the MMDVM call sign is actually the voice playback from the network. And it, as you could see, when, you, when you, uh, you look from the top and you go over to where it says service, you could see it says time, mode, call sign, target, and then service. That is the playback from the network. The announcement is 5.4 seconds. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, just remember that uh, going back over to the Kenwood software, you want to make sure that uh, you just uh, um, add the different talk groups uh, as an additional channel. Uh, with the Kenwood software, you just basically come in and you also have to create a talk a group ID list and here are the group IDs which we just saw uh, it's the same setup as the pi star uh, list starting with the um, the echo reflector the parrot talk group let's go ahead and move over to the parrot channel let's see if I can get over to parrot to 10. And I noticed that the playback on the parrot comes in a little, the, re, the record, the playback is a little bit uh, not legible. I don't know if it, that's because it's part of the recording, but I'll let you listen to it. Let me link over to it. Link two. Okay, now you can see where I am. Let me show you the screen, and I'm going to key up and we'll do a playback. This is N2LEN testing the NXDN Talk Group 10 Parrot Reflector uh, for a video test and playback. This is N2LEN on the Parrot Talk Group 10 NXDN Reflector. This is N2LEN testing the NXDN Talk Group 10 
Parrot Reflector uh, for a video test and playback. This is N2 LEN on the Parrot Top Route 10 NXDM Reflector. So that's basically it. Um, it works absolutely flawless. Uh, haven't seen any problems with it. And um, and that's basically how you set up the NX, the newest NXDN reflectors that have been added to Pi Star uh, and um, coded by Jonathan um, for MMDVM. This is N2LEM. We'll say best seven three. Good luck.